Hey guys, it's Rob the Rogue Jedi. Welcome to the Solos Post. <laughs> My name is Joel the Light Side Guy. How's it going, guys? What's going on, everybody? It's here. The Bad Batch came out. Oh, so exciting. So exciting. <laughs> exciting. Like, Dude, I, I'm, I'm, I'm no really sleep. excited as well, bro. I'm really no, excited. No sleep, though. <laughs> no sleep to Brooklyn, man. Dude, no I'm, sleep. Um, I, I am super excited. Um, We got to watch it. Guys, if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. We just posted. We're probably posting both of these videos at the exact same time. Um, But no, it was awesome. From beginning to end, um, a full hour and 10 minutes worth of um, nonstop action, um, thinking, um, I mean, there's a lot, a lot of, a lot of different things that I know that me and Robert were going, going things worth just things going through our head in general. Yeah. Um, but let's, let's start it off, bro. Um, you were right. Let's start it off there. Right. Uh, Caleb, <laughs> Caleb Doom. Called it, called Amen. it, called it, called it and nailed it. I, I, I honestly, I liked it that I liked that it was that way. I did too. Um, I, I, I personally would have loved to have him say something in Rebels about it. Like, yeah. hey, I knew these, I knew these troopers or I knew these, uh, um, I, I knew these clones, you know, um, that were amazing at one point, you know, like that would have been a great touchback like that. But I guess this is what really made this, like surprised us, you know, that they started it off this way. Yeah, man. And, and, and you know, I'm going to be, I guess, We'll be talking about it. I'll be talking about it all day. I mean, I've said it in the past as well. Dave Filoni planned this, man. He he knew what he was doing, and I think that's well, scripted, why. Well, scripted, right. Yeah, and, and 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 I say that because you know it fit so perfectly well with Rebels, and it explained why he had such PTSD with clones and why he always was so hesitant with them. You know, when Ezra was just like, "Oh, but they're a good bunch of guys," this and that. You know, and, 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 you know, he, he touched on it a little bit, you know, he spoke on it, but now we got to see the full circle of it, of why, you know, and, you know, it's all thanks to, you know, Crosshair in reality, you know, the one that actually ends up turning, you know, and at least in this episode. Yeah, yeah, it, it could be something where it changes somewhere along the mm -hmm. line, but I don't, I don't. I don't know if that's really going to happen because again, I mean, it can, it can, anything is possible. Yeah. Um, like, like, like she said, I mean, I mean, we'll go there. We'll go there later, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, he, you know, he ruined everything. I mean, yeah. he ruined an opportunity that could have been, we could have, I mean, we saw a great Jedi within Caleb, but um, we could have seen more. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I thought, um, I thought it was really, I thought it was cool to see, I thought it was perfect for them to introduce that and see and, and just see, I guess, him as opposed to like they could have showed us like like I think it would have been cool too if they could have shown us like uh what's the other guy? Uh Cal Castus, like him as a kid. Like seeing it go that route. But I understand it because again, it I it just kind of intertwined because again, like we know that the bad batch obviously know Rex and they're gonna meet them, they're gonna see them. So I understand it. I get it. Um, you know, I thought they executed really well on, on the whole Caleb thing and crosshair thing, you know, because it was and it was and it was funny because like we were watching and I, and I think we were saying it, it was like right off the rip, like crosshair already started having problems already. Like it was like right off the rip. The moment Order 66 happened, like he was already like he kept shooting at him and Hunter had to like keep bringing him back and be like, yo, what are you doing? Like, chill out. You know what I'm saying? And then he's just like, I'm fo I'm just following orders. In orders. Yeah. And, like, and um I, I always forget how Australian those accents are. Uh and <laughs> but but to be honest with you, I mean it starts off I, guys, I I find it funny, but it starts off with Clone Wars logo and then it goes into Bad Batch. And although that's cool and burning, but I think of all the memes that came out for this thing, like <laughs> like the one that you put of the office of the guy like of Jim like squinting his eyes and is like, oh, another season. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's like, is that clone? Is that bad? bad? Yeah. No, clone Wars season eight. Oh, it's clone season eight. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, no, I mean, it, it starts off amazing. Um, so we, we get that scene. We get, we get the, we first see um, Hunter build such a relationship. I mean, the guys just in general, the, the whole squad 
um, yeah. build a relationship with Caleb in a way that, you know, it seems like it's kind of setting us up for Omega. Um, oh, I dude. guess. Yeah. It, it, it set us up for that. Said, that's exactly what I said, bro. Like, and, man. and, and um, yeah, right after that, we, we go back on to um, Coruscant, right? Camino. Camino, sorry, Camino. Mm -hmm. um, and when we go to Camino, I mean, we get, we get more information on what exactly is going on. Um, and to be honest with you, it, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot, you know, for, for them. It's a lot for them. And, and for us, I think it was, it was a lot to impact as well. Like, I think I'm, we might have to watch this like two or three more times um, yeah. to really, to really dive into some things. But I, I mean, it, it's a lot to unpack. Um, I mean, dude, what's going I, on. I, I personally thought it was really funny. One of the things we've been saying as well is the other thing, you know, right off the rip, Tarkin wanted to, de you know, decommissionize them as well. He didn't want to fund them. He's like, it, it's costing us money. Which we it's spoke costing, about. Which is, I thought that was so funny. He's just like, mm -hmm. it's costing us money. So it already solved that theory. Like, you know, what, you know, because a lot of us were wondering what happened. Why, why didn't they, like, what was up with the funding? But I guess the Empire lacked money <laughs> i guess they were broke you know in reality mm. in the beginning you know it's like when you start your own business right you know you don't really have much so i guess that's what it was they didn't have that much money they wanted to go to the stormtrooper well we didn't we don't see that i just mean from from phase one right like the galactic empire and then he's like hey um you don't even serve we don't even serve you anymore the that's contract true. is non-void. You're good. You're good. You're that's done. Fake. The contract yeah, is they literally voided. You're good. Literally, they just wanted to cut ties with them, and that was it. I think if it wasn't, I think they were only staying relevant just because of the bad badge, and they wanted to see what they brought to the table. But after that, after you see like they kind of come back towards the end for for Omega, I mean, you know, you learn that you know they really don't want anything to do with them. I think after getting Crosshair, I think that's pretty much. I don't think I think we're done with. Well, we learn we're done. I think Camino's gonna be done with. Um, yeah, I, I like I like the fact that they explained it in a way like it's in the Bad Batch's hands. So it's in Clone 99's hands. Yeah. You know, like whether whether they stay with them, whether they stay yeah. with the clones or they go with the troopers, which they're they're gonna be going into. Um, but I like that they're using them as that cross reference of what's gonna happen. Yeah, I love the configuration. Like I love the whole thing of the way they set up like the, like talking about like the transition i just love how they did the transition for it like you know giving us like a few minutes of a little bit of clone war season seven and then just going right into order 66 when it happens when it gets instructed and dude they did such a good job and i mean even even like for the other thing like seeing like right off the rip we saw saw guerrera like that's something you would have thought you would have seen <laughs> I thought episode honestly two, we, right? Episode two or three, right? Uh, like at least like like just somewhere in like the middle. I wasn't expecting like right there, but that Which goes to show you how mm -hmm. how quick the rebellion, like you know, they were working already, you know. And I just want to know what other characters they're gonna be going, you know, like what what's next? Who who else he's is gonna, gonna he's gonna play a pivotal of, part though? Oh, dude, he's such a pivotal if part. If I'm mistaken, you said they, they were 16 episodes now com confirmed. Yeah, 16 now. Yeah, um, so. so I say he's gonna be in most of those episodes. They're they're gonna go. So. Once I would say Rex, that, once Rex gets involved, I think he's gonna be more. I'll say he'll be in about ten of them. I say ten. Ten out of ten, 10 episodes. Oof. I think That's so. A lot. I don't. Think. <laughs> oh, That's you. Do, oh, it could be. Then yeah. Be I mean, nice. I don't know. I don't know. You, we're talking about Saw, right? Saw, yeah. Yeah, I'll say maybe about. I'll say I'll put it like this: five to ten. I'll give it five we to definitely, ten. we definitely have. To, I I feel like we definitely. I feel like Disney or Star Wars owes it to us to give us more of an explanation on why he really flips the way he flips. Because in this episode, he seemed he seemed off, but he seemed a little Ooh. bit more normal. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm expecting him to be more off the grid later on. I don't think we're going to really get well, that. Well, remember, he goes crazy. Like, he literally starts going crazy. Like, that kyber crystal that he did, like, all that stuff in Clone Wars. Like, all these different things that we see later. Yeah. Um when he's when he's a lot older um yeah i, don't, I think that's more we need to see of that. i don't think we're gonna see much of that now well no no i'm saying that happened that's where he went that's where he, that's his 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 character flipped so like what we're seeing now is a different character or a different 
um, persona of him now than what we see then. So I want to see when that switch, you know, when that switch, when they turned on that switch, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we get to see that. Um, we get to see that, yes, they do have chips in their head. So they yeah. did explain that. So they did explain that they did have chips in their head um, and they just weren't working at the full capacity of what, they, oh, they were working at full capacity, but not enough for them. Yeah, we see they raise the levels up on the chip because that's literally what Tarkin orders them to do. You know, raise the level. Can we raise those levels? And then, you know, like, I don't know. I think that's what he says. But yeah, he ends up saying that. And we see that, you know, go up and we see the turn. of what, what do you what do you what do you think about that? Do you do you think. Um, um, do you think do you think that. The uh, uh, man, it's, it's just the words are not coming out, but. Do you think that was purposely done? What was? Because the way she says it, the way she says it, like, hey, like, they're made this way, um, but they're made with more enhanced features. Do you think because they had to add all these more enhanced features um, or the mess ups that they did, you think purposely they would they did that with the chip? Who are the, you talking about? The clo- like the the, mm-hmm, the creator, like, yeah. The creator? Uh, mm. I just think that I I just think when they made them, I think it was just they they want I think Clone Force 99 from the get we knew Clone Force 99 was a special force. They were different than the other clones. Mm-hmm. I mean, you see that in the beginning, right? In the beginning of the Clone Wars, right? How they were very different. You know, they were the underdogs. You know, and they ended up going and being this you know elite squad. You mm-hmm. know, and I just I don't know, man. I believe that it was like. I don't know. It's just it's, it's just one of those things that like I don't think it was by far. I think it was just by nature. It just happened. You know? yeah, I feel like they focused on so many other parts of who they are and made them so unique. Because um, yeah. we could see it in Omega that yeah. they didn't focus on where the, the, the inhibitors, you know, those those chip inhibitors were in their heads. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, so we have to we're making them stronger in all these areas. So we have to make this stronger in order for them to follow this. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they kind of like just was like, oh no, just put this chip in here. But um I, I loved I loved everything about it. Um, give me your thoughts on uh o- Omega. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? Um, not to toot my horn, but I mean I think I was kind of right. I mean, what they're showing right now, I don't know. She kind of like I talking about like how she always kind of predicted things and she noticed certain things kind of is leading me to believe my theory on her being force sensitive or Mm -hmm. having something because it's very weird that she knew a lot of things like i just i found it just so weird how like when she sensed something with crosshair remember when she spoke to him and and she was saying you know i forgot word for word what she said but it was basically along the lines like you know it's not your fault like it's um i understand what you're going through and right. just, I need you to understand that it's, it's, it's I, I understand that it's not your fault. Right. So oh it's like, God. how did she know that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's like, she already foresaw the change in him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then it's like, and then the other thing is, is like when she, she also she, called it, yeah, like he was going to change. Like, he right. Change. Yeah, yeah. And then it was like, when she grabbed the bear, you know, for uh Wrecker's bear, you know, she already t- kind of felt it as well, where she was like, you know, she already knew like they, like something was going to go down and you saw that, you know what I'm saying? And then everybody kind of caught on. So yeah. it's like, I don't know, man, something about her is just very, like I said, it's very unique. It's very different. That's yeah. why I say like, I feel like personally that this one is going to be Dave Filoni's baby. This is going to be his gem. Think so? Even, I think so. I think this is the new Ahsoka. I think this is the new route they're going to be going. I mean, it makes the most sense. You need new characters. You need a new storyline. Ahsoka's already basic. Uh, Ahsoka's going to be, how do I put it? Like, it's cool to have her. I mean, her eventually it's going to, you know. End her story off. Her story is about to end, yeah. You know, not that, no, not, yeah. I mean, it's 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 coming to a close, you know, but they could still milk it with Ashley Eckstein and all these, mm-hmm. you know, doing other animations, which is fine. But you, he needs a new character that they can build off of and do other projects with for years to come, which I'm sure he has that plan, mm-hmm. which would make the most sense, dude. And you can set that up for, for other things. You know, like one of the things I was saying on my live, you know, can it be that, you know, since, you know, they are, you know, that is, they are related, right? Like we all know like Boba Fett, like that could be the spring. Like, does she end up, does she end up being in the book of Boba? Does she ever come to live action? You know, like that would be, that's another thing, 
you know i feel like i feel like it, it's an it's an eventually situation um more of that than uh we will see her now i like i don't think we're gonna see her now um i mean again i don't know what they have planned but i think that's in that's a that's a foreseen future situation um and and she's well, gonna play know, such she's gonna play such you an know role. well we we know seeing this man dave filoni has something set for the future so oh I for mean, sure you know again he set it up with get right there again with Kane in one of the episodes with the whole thing with with the clone. I mean, look how much, you know, that one, you know, that one, that line that he says in Rebels, you know, with you know him having basically like PTSD with you know uh, uh, clones, and now they touch back on that same situation now with the opening scene of you know their first new show called the bad batch you know what i'm saying and dude and that was that was a great that was a great scene too but um i thought i the only thing that i thought was really funny is like you i, well, I thought it was cool number one you brought freddie pinch doing your back which was great mm-hmm. was cool with that but i'm just like he's still a kid and he has such a deep voice i thought that was really funny he seemed a little older maybe into his like early teens it could be i mean i we again I I, I, our cartoon I characters to me don't don't really give age but yeah yeah i mean i i definitely agree but i just go i I guess i'm going now off of because he just kind of looks small so Mm -hmm. he still looked a little bit younger i mean it wasn't i mean he looked like a young manny yeah but i mean even if you do think about it i mean when you when we first saw him in what season i think four or five i think it was four we see we saw him in or three i mean it's not that it's not that many years off anyway so I don't think he's yeah, that I, 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 I liked it. I mean, I, I liked the beginning. I liked everything. I loved. Um... I thought it was. I thought it was awesome. Now I just. I, I. It would be. It would be nice to see. I mean, I know that they're not going to touch on it, but it would be nice to see like where where he goes off and where he goes. But and they might. They might do it. Yeah, it would be nice if they touched a little bit more on it. You know. Um. Yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much all I got, man. I mean, from because I, I feel like I feel like Hunter. I feel like Hunter is gonna. He's gonna want to make sure that he's okay after all that stuff, even though he and and, and, and maybe not, maybe not, but you know, and, and that's like another that. thing. Like, let's touch on that. Like, dude, I mean, what a relationship, what a bond you already feel from the get with um Hunter and Omega. I mean, right off the rip, when all the clones lined up and you know, um, what's this guy? Uh Palpatine was giving the order, you know, he was giving his speech, you know, on on, on everything you know, the first thing you see is Omega and, 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 and Hunter look at each other. And like, I was like, wow, you already felt it. You already knew like there was, there was, there's a bond there. And then going forward, you know, like they, they spoke and, you know, she led towards him, you know, and she went towards him and then, you know, and then what do we have? And then right after, you know, she kind of warns them about, you know, what's going to happen, what's going to conspire. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, they, they, they go, they see Saw, they see, you know, Saw Guerrero and everything. And you know, they, then what does Hunter say? You know, we got to go back and save Omega. She was right. Yeah, you know? because she's the she's the fifth the fifth puzzle. Yeah, um, you know, and that's why and, and that's why I believe. Like, I, I think that that's why. Like, I think she is the she fills that hole since we lost Crosshair. That's why it's like you already know. Like that was that's the that's the it was the destined to, to put it in. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, I feel I like was, yeah. I feel like you're right. I feel like you're right in that situation. I mean, I I just loved I. I I personally am st- I'm so excited for Friday um, yeah. to see what's what's next, um, and the way it ended. I mean, the way it ended, it was it was great too. They did um, such a great job. I mean, mm-hmm. awesome job. I mean, to see that they end well, up getting going to see Rex, man. Yeah, going to see Rex. I want to see Rex, dude. So I'm I'm super stoked for that, and I I I can't wait, dude. I, you, you think we'll get a Soka next episode? No. Yeah, I don't think we'll get. I don't okay. think I don't think I don't if we do get Ahsoka at all, we'll probably get her in episode three um, or maybe four. Um, but I I, makes, I I would think it would make sense to introduce her a little bit like to do it now. Don't wait so long because, again, you don't you know, like right now. Well, the episodes are starting. shorter now. They're not they're not going to be 70 minutes right, long anymore. Right. So, yeah, I mean, so that's why that's, I think that's why I think we're seeing later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, it's true. I just say do it now and early in the season to get get it out of the way that way you could focus more on their story as opposed to you know like you know seeing her or any other character. But I just find it weird because I'm like, I get I get the the chip the, the the chip inside Crosshair's head and mm-hmm. all of that. What I find weird is that 
hunter kills the the probe right next to him and he's just like yeah. still not phased he's like oh we still got to follow orders i'm like yo my man i just saved you like <laughs> i just saved you like i just saved our squad Order, like hunter. and you're and yeah and you're still and you're still yelling at me because i'm not following orders like but that's the thing that was that was why Tarkin already knew to separate him from from the rest of them, and, and you heard well him. because he did the report too after after. Well, no, after no, no. It was came. more from the it was more from the probe though because he said that, and that was where he saw that he, you know, he his allegiance was a little bit more to the Empire than anything, and that's why he, he again he separated them because he knew, and that's why it was like it was funny because when they took him, Hunter was like, you know, hey, you know, we don't, you know, we we never separate, but in reality. They had to do that. That was the next, that was the only way they were going to separate, you know, him from them. You know, yeah. so and it made quick, sense. Quick before we send before we do our, our little send off right now, um, give me uh, what what are you expecting in episode two? Uh, I'm expecting just to see Rex and from there lead off into seeing more of the rebellion and what they're going to be doing. That's it, and 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 what they're and I, and they're probably going to you know they're going to have to make some friends. You're gonna yeah. have to make some friends because that's one of the things Echo said. You know, their list is There's short. No reason, and, yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Their, their list is very short, so they're gonna have to definitely expand and figure out ways to avoid the Empire. Because right now, you know that they're on the hunt for them. The Empire's on the hunt for them, and they're on the run. So that's it. That's it. So, so for for me, guys, I I think, I think it's I think it's great the fact that they mentioned that they mentioned a short list of friends. Yeah. Uh, it, it really it really goes back to who really dedicated the, the the time and the effort and all that stuff are we gonna see obi-wan that would be cool um, it would be i know I, would be I, cool. I, I was, I was saying would, that yesterday but I, I don't know it would be because it would make a difference like we know that in the kenobi series he's supposed to play a bigger part you know like with the rebellion so mm -hmm. it wouldn't make sense to introduce that now where you can sit there and be like okay like now this adds up and i could see him why he leaves tatooine as they're saying he's supposed to in the kenobi show. yeah and now and we also know so we all know about the bad batch being such an enhanced group right now that we have crosshair at his full potential let's really let's really dive in and say that um i'm looking forward to his his hunting skills um, towards the bad batch because again um, hunter even says it he's like hey we can really go off the grid but now that we have crosshair following us and, and now you know on it like it's probably not going to happen so um yeah. it's going to be really 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 cool to see that to yeah, see that happen. and to yeah. see who hunt who hunter now is he's a general now he's he's in charge of he's probably going to have his own group now you know, yeah. of the of elite of elite soldiers as well. So yeah. it's gonna be cool to see that too. Yeah, they're definitely gonna. I think they're definitely gonna. You know, I'm sure they'll see other clones mm -hmm. along the way that they'll mm -hmm. you know align themselves with, and you know, they'll grow. They're definitely gonna Fav grow. Favorite part of the episode? Oh, dude, my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, man, if uh, to, 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 to be honest, I would say my favorite part of the episode. I, it, when when we, I think Omega, Omega really like just because she proved my theory. So it was just, yeah, it was more Omega. Just, just, just her introduction and everything. I thought she brought such a great, um, she brought such a great, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, I don't know. She just, she just brought something good to the show. I liked her. Yeah. Um, I'm, uh, I was excited for all the humor. Um, I was, yeah. The part we didn't even touch on the yeah. battle droids, bro. Yeah. 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 That's, I was going to bring that up right now, but, uh, humor with the battle droids, yeah. um, for sure. We're, we're super funny. And with, Oh, there it is. I was going to show it later, but it's okay. <laughs> but, um, also yeah. with, hi baby. <laughs> also with, uh, he said, hi, um, also with the, with the droids. Right. So, um, they gave a different humor as well to the show. Um, and I think personally speaking, I, I think it, it, it's also going to explain like what's going to happen to them too, like later on down the road. Yeah. Um, but I loved all those scenes, like from, from right in the beginning, right smack at the beginning record, really ruining everything, uh, or like destroying all these guys going ham. Um, yeah. it, it was awesome. That probably was one of my favorite scenes right there and Thank walking you. into, seeing Caleb in the beginning was great. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. I mean, I think the fact that we got to get Caleb was so dope. I I, I love to the the humor 
throughout the whole show of record. Like, <laughs> I just love, what was the one that he goes, you know, like, you know, oh yeah, he was like, how far are we? And I think Echo goes, he says like the number, he goes, huh? And then like, <laughs> and yeah, he's like, dumb it know, down for me. Yeah, he's like, oh no, no, he's, oh, that's what it was. He goes, you know, how, how, how long has it been since we've been home? And then he like says the amount of days, he goes, what? And then I think it ends up being like Hunter that says like, you know, just it's been a while. And he goes, now nah, you're talking. There we yeah. go. <laughs> so it's like, it's funny, man. It was like I said, it, the, the humor part of it was was truly amazing. So they did a good job. Yeah, I'm excited, guys. Uh, yeah. Guys, thank, thanks. Uh, thanks for watching again. Um, we hope to see you guys soon. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our channel. If you haven't hit that like button, make sure you hit it a thousand times. Um, <laughs> a thousand times. Um, and comment down below, guys. All right. Share our videos with other people. Uh, make uh, just make it known that we're here uh, to serve the Star Wars community. All right, guys. Uh, yep. My name is Joel, the light side guy. And I am Rob the Road Jedi. <laughs> And thank you guys again. May the force be with you. Stay safe, guys. Stay safe.